In front of me today are our newest snake additions, our new black-headed python, and the green anaconda we both recently got. And today is going to be an exciting video because we are going to feed them both for you. By the way, before we start, don't mind the noise in the background, it's our dishwasher. I tried turning it off, but then all the steam fogged up my glasses, so we're just gonna leave it running for today. Just as a heads up, the green anaconda strike is faster than any strike I've ever seen before, so we're gonna save him until last. And first, we're gonna do our black-headed python. We decided to name her Inky, thanks to your wonderful suggestion. So thank you so much for the name ideas we went with Inky. Do you wanna explain the other names now? Oh yeah, the our two Wilmas are gonna be, what is it, Blinky? Inky, Blinky. Pinky. Pinky. And Clyde. And Clyde is going to be our future black-headed python, the male that we get somewhere down the line. We're going to name him Clyde. So here's Inky. <laughs> Let's see how she's doing. She's in her quarantine. Actually, both of these are in their quarantine bins right now, so that's why they're kind of in a smaller enclosure. We just want to keep them in a very sterile environment so we can monitor their droppings and their eating habits while we observe them during the quarantine period. So she's uh, actually... Been yeah, she's been cruising her bin for the last hour and a half because yeah. she's looking for rodents. She goes all around. She is yeah. hungry tonight. Are you ready to eat, little girl? There you go. It's right here. Don't just well. strike it to strike. Here, try again. Are you just striking to strike? Yeah, both of these new snakes we have to work on socializing because they are sassy. Here, I'm just gonna set that there. Doesn't yeah. that smell good? Yeah, she's too... She's uh, super worked up. All right, all right, fine, fine. Here, we're gonna yeah. cover her up and see if she just takes it on her own. Yeah. Last time she ate it from the tongs. Yeah. So we were hoping she'd do that tonight, but apparently not. She's not used to being on camera yet. No, she doesn't like being on camera. No. Oh yeah, she's gonna she's go for gonna... it. Oh, yep. she just went for it. All right, so she's kind of grabbing it, kind of letting it go. We're just gonna- She knows it's in there. Let her figure things out, I guess. Yep. And we'll move on to the anaconda. The green anaconda, we decided to name Tiny, <laughs> it's ironic. So Tiny is in here. He uh, has his water dish taken out because he pooped in it like right before this video, so we cleaned it all out. And I'm gonna give it back to him once he's done eating because I want to keep it a little bit open. Oh yep, there he is. Both of these guys are gonna give us a run for our money because they both are gonna push us to the limits when it comes to uh, socializing them. All right, here's Tiny. Oh, he's going into shed. Yeah, he's in the shed right now, so we'll see if he still eats. I hope he at least strikes so you guys can see just how incredibly fast their strikes are. Like the first time I fed him, I almost needed a new pair of pants because that's how quick and unpredictable they are. I actually put it on Patreon, so you guys on Patreon already know how he strikes. But actually, I'm gonna use Rex's tongs. Emily's a little nervous about this guy. This guy just makes me jump because <laughs> he is such an aggressive eater. Hey, buddy. He's smelling it. Here you go. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! <laughs> See, it's out of nowhere! He was not even tensing up or anything. No! Like no! Like, he just bam! And then he goes after it. That's a good rep though, look at that. Yeah, that's like Get a it. perfect rep. Get it, dude! Get it! Flex those muscles! Squeeze that rat! So, I bet he's going to wrap that for five minutes <laughs> before he starts eating it. python is done and the green anaconda is looking the wrong way yeah we picked up a smart snake didn't we but he's cute look at that puppy dog face wait you want me to do what with this thing it's been five minutes five minutes later i called it i said five minutes swallow it down now he's finally starting
So, you finished. And Today I learned that anacondas don't let you film them eating. <laughs> At least ours doesn't. Yeah. Dude, you have a piece of cold oh, box. Oh, he got it off. He's still got the tail. Yeah, just that little bit left. It would be so satisfying if snakes slurped down the tail like spaghetti. <sighs> Wouldn't that be great? It'd be like a cartoon. Here's your cave back. Both of you two are temperamental. Well, now, he, he's hey, just he sucked down the rest of his tail that yeah, way. Yeah, that's one way to do it. All right, now I can give him his water dish back. He's all set back up in his quarantine bin. And actually, this week, it's the last full week of March, his enclosure for the facility is getting built this week. So we have a huge water feature planned. I can't wait until that's ready to go and put in place because he's just gonna love it. But for now, I mean, he's just spending like 95% of his time in his water bowl completely submerged with just his cute little nose and forward facing eyes sticking out of the water. It's like adorable. And that's why we only fill his water dish halfway because if you have a snake that likes to soak in its water dish a lot, fill it up only halfway because if you fill it all the way, they'll just overflow it when they're in it. So that's why that's only half full. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed your bonus video this week. And as always, thank you to our Patreon supporters for backing this channel and to everyone just for watching our videos. We appreciate all of your time just watching our animals and learning some things about reptiles. We'll see you next time.